We begin with the new developments on what may have brought down part of that building. Eyewitness News reporter Sonia Rincon leads us off from the Bronx. It was another round of retrieving belongings, waiting their turn and making it quick. Once you're inside, it's a countdown, 20 minutes. Grab as much as you can. Vanessa Olivo's extended family lives in several apartments in the partially collapsed building. The hardest part tonight was packing up her parents' home. We grab pictures, memories, but in 20 minutes, you can't grab 50 years of life. Tonight, as families grapple with how to pack it all into a car or how to transport their belongings and where to take them, they're learning about the engineering mistake likely to blame for uprooting their lives and thinking of the cracks they saw and repeatedly reported. The city says facade repair work removed part of a column that was integral to the structure of the building because it was labeled in the plan as decorative when it was in fact load bearing. And there's video showing that work happening as recently as the day of the collapse. In a statement, the city says it's suspended the Associated Engineers Authority to inspect exterior walls of buildings to assess their condition while seeking to permanently revoke that authority. I cannot believe that somebody that is entrusted to be careful and diligent, be, is licensed by the state, is, is sanctioned by the city of New York to conduct this work, was able to so flippantly submit a plan that was flawed. Council member Pierina Sanchez chairs the Housing and Buildings Committee and is promising hearings. She's been consoling the families. Her office is distributing gift cards to help them replace items they need as their Red Cross hotel stays run out and they're placed in HPD shelters. The shelter looks like an empty place that's not your home, especially for the whole difference. The building's department says it's now auditing 368 facade inspection reports by that engineer. Meanwhile, Council Member Sanchez says a fundraiser by the Bronx Community Foundation is legitimate and all proceeds are helping displaced families.